welcome to my bucket list video um i'll get straight to it today as you can see i've made a start and then i thought oh stop people might want to see they might be interested in what your bucket list is um and all of those lovely things so basically i got this far and then stopped and then thought i'll carry on whilst i am on um, whilst i'm filming so that's what i've done so if you've not seen my christmas planner this is it it's full to the brim and it's all christmas related my normal catch-all planner is still here trusty little pink paper shire one um but during the month of december and november to be honest i've been using this to get organized and my christmas bucket list is the next thing to do now i will be using my christmas bucket list so i'll take this out i'm going to be using this to inform where is it this <laughs> which as you can see is currently a work in progress but i'll do another video on this the elf will have all of the things that the elf does and i'm going to be writing down the list of those and my advent activities so what i'll do is i'll do another video basically going through what my advent activities are and whether or not the elf is going to coincide with those activities or do something completely different um i have a key here pink for elf gray for advent and you can see i've done some um but i'm going to make a video on this um and how i make it make sense for us and why i use these tabs so that we can move them around should we need to but that's a whole other story but like i said this bucket list um most of most of the things on it will be taken from that list and put into our advent activities for the day so we have 25 advent activities there might not be 25 things on the bucket list because some of the things we'll do twice like crafts christmas crafts so obviously we'll do a few and things like that but um i'll pop this to one side and we'll bring this in and we will go through the things on my christmas bucket list that i have um to do with the children this festive season now i have in the past done a bucket list for spring and i did a bucket list for october for halloween like a spooky season one this one obviously is for december it's for christmas time now i'm trying to find something to lean on because this is just a single sheet of paper so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to grab these which is going to be another video which is some printouts that I've done for a social media planner and also for um, resolutions. But that's just not been done yet. So I'm just going to use those as a little stack to write on. But as you can see, and I'm sorry about all the chips in the desk. I normally try to cover them, but um, what's that? That's just a smudge. But um, this, is, this desk is well worn <laughs> and is old, so that's why it's a mess. So I'll go through these with you. I've just used this principle from Principle for Planners and then I've used this gorgeous little Winter Nana from Papershire to decorate it. And it is double-sided, so there'll be plenty on there. Now, I might write things that, I'm, that we don't end up doing on this list, but these are all the things that I would like to do with my partner and my children over and my family, friends, over the Christmas period. So, festive hot chocolate. That's an obvious one and it's very small. It's very easily achievable. Um, I have bought myself this festive um, mug. So as you can see, it has this little stirrer and it's like a little Santa in a reindeer hat, which is just so cute and random. Um, the lid comes off. It's shaped like a Christmas tree. It's pink, it's white, it's gold. It's everything I need. Um, so my festive hot chocolate will be going in there. But I do also buy mugs for my sons. Um, and we obviously have the full the full thing. I'll try and put a picture in if I've took one in previous years. Um, and as we go through this bucket list, I'll do that then as well. Um, any pictures I have previously of my family and me using it, I won't just grab one off um, the internet. Um, I'll add it in just to give guys you guys ideas if you need them. So the festive hot chocolate for us is obviously any kind of hot chocolate that the kids want. Whipped cream, marshmallows, candy cane, and we usually well we always have one when we're watching the polar express because there's a song in there called hot chocolate and we pause the film we go and get one and then we sit down and watch the rest um but also we'll we'll do this on other days when we go to see the christmas lights when we come back to warm up we'll have one as well so that's festive hot chocolate christmas films speaks for itself that's easy enough we always watch polar express we always watch arthur christmas we always watch um um what did we oh, i can't remember now oh, as, as adults we watched i always watched the holiday um 
but as the children get older there's more Christmas films that they want to watch and we tend to watch something festive every day of December um so limiting screen time is not a big one for us visit Santa um we are going to somewhere this year called Reindeer Lodge we've never been before we're um near Manchester in between Manchester and Liverpool um and technically we're in Merseyside in the past we've been to Farmer Ted's for Christmas um and last year we didn't do that though last year we had my dad dressed up as Santa at the Christmas party um because we couldn't get one booked um yeah just so I, don't, I should say here um if we have any little believers around um just be wary because um some of the things that I might talk about I will put that at the beginning of this video now that I've made a note um but just as another reminder some of these things might not be suitable um mine are at school and at their grandma so I'm safe but if your little believers are around it might be time to watch this video another time <laughs> um then we walk and see Christmas lights. Edit this, edit this, edit this, edit this, edit, 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 edit. Yeah, so in the past we've been to other places. The year before last Santa came to our house, um, which was lovely. He visited ours, but this year we're going to Reindeer Lodge and it has like a reindeer safari and it's all lit up. And then there's a toy workshop that you can visit the elves. And then there's like a little festival and fairground and things like that. So that should be lovely. Um, then we have walk to see Christmas lights because near us um, there's a row of thatched, thatched cottages that every year they all have agreed this like whole row of houses to decorate to the nine that's amazing um, and then you can donate money to the charity that they choose so we always go and see that obviously we decorate the house and we do that on the 1st of December <coughs> um, as best as we can and marry it up um, Christmas crafts. Now, I wanted to mention this because Christmas crafts, it's very generic. I tend to go, um, and I'll tell you where I get things from, just in case you're wondering and you need to get your hands on some, at a very reasonable, affordable price. Obviously, you have places like Poundwell, Pound Shop, H&M, H&M, uh, <laughs> Home Bargains, B&M, um, not H&M, although maybe they do, I don't know. Um, Hobbycraft, obviously, but I tend to find them a little bit more expensive. Um, we like the range. We've also I also get a lot of Baker Ross, which is very affordable. <clears throat> um, so Baker Ross has been a great one for us. So loads of different places to get stuff from. And in terms of what we're doing, obviously making Christmas cards, that's an easy one. We use paint and hand prints and all those kind of things. We um, make sort of festive ornaments we can make ornaments and one of the things one of the activities the elf brings is normally an ornament we've got one from home bargains where we paint these like little clay dinosaur things on a string and we've also got one where it's a bauble and inside you um put a photo so it's, it's easy but it's an activity for them to do um and then i think last year i got a nutella jar um and cleared it out which wasn't a problem washed it out and then we stuck a little christmas tree I've, I've probably got a picture i'll stick it here but we made like a snow globe so um christmas crafts and actually i think i probably put it on here um i made the list separate to this so i could go through it with you um i didn't put make an ornament oh, i did oh, i did <clears throat> so christmas crafts and then separately make an ornament because i just think it's such a lovely thing to do and then obviously when they're older they can take some with them if they want or choose to discard of them however they wish so make an ornament christmas films visit santa christmas lights we are going to be going to a christmas switch on this year festive hot chocolate decorate the house christmas crafts sorry i'm just crossing these off because um i want to make sure that you see everything and that i've not missed anything out so as well as these christmas houses there's also christmas light switch ons and things like that but one near us is actually in November, so that won't be um, a December thing. We always construct a gingerbread house and we've n we've never made one from scratch because I feel like maybe that's beyond us. Maybe we'll try it one day when the kids are older, but at the moment we've got a five-year-old, a two-year-old and a seven-month-old. So buying one for a few pounds from the shops and constructing it is well enough mess. <laughs> so that is that and normally i just put on my christmas bucket list christmas baking but i'm just going to be a bit more specific here just in case it helps anybody out then we have decorate um festive cookies because 
um again you can make your own cookies and if you do absolute kudos to you but i'm not the best near the oven <laughs> um my husband is the one that does the cooking and the baking um and whilst it's lovely and it does fill your house with loads of festive smells and it's lovely activity to do with the children and we do do it don't get me wrong the next thing is actually um <laughs> a baking activity we um for like three pounds you can buy the entire kit they're already ready made and i find sometimes that my children haven't got the attention span necessarily to like wait for it to bake wait for it to cool um and then they decorate it and then they just shove it in the mouth and it's gone within 10 seconds and i know that's what children do but for all of that effort i'd want to look at them for a while <laughs> so decorate festive cookies from the shop um the baking that we do do though is um sausage whirls which are essentially um they look like a cinnamon roll like a cinnamon like a flat cinnamon whirl like you get at breakfast but it's not flaky pastry it's cheese pastry and it's sausage roll sausage meat with brown sauce <clears throat> and herbs and spices and things like that they're gorgeous it's a family recipe that my husband's family have passed down from generation to generation i've been told how to make it but i can't bake so he still does them um and the kids love them they just make the best snack through christmas so decorate sausage uh, make sausage rolls next one is a big part of our daily life anyway <clears throat> <clears throat> which is reading and we will be reading lots of Christmas books. Now, they're not all about Christmas, um, but I do, um, but I do buy them every year. I, I need to stop, I do need to stop. It's a problem that I have. I love buying books, and now I think we probably have close to 50 Christmas books, but they go away um, through the year, they go in the loft, and then on the 1st of December, the elf brings the, them back, um, and then every so often they get a new one <laughs> and then in the Christmas Eve box they get a new one. Um, so Christmas books, Christmas reading, reading in our house is a big thing anyway. Everybody loves to read. We all like to read together. We read on our own. My five-year-old is, is incredibly good at reading and I'm not sure how that happened because we never actually, you know, we don't sit down and force them to crack on. That He just, he's just absorbed it and he's lovely with it. Um, but Christmas books is something that's a big part of our house and it's something that we do a lot so we're going to be doing that what else have we got on this list of mine okay christmas sleepover now this one is one that i saw on um somebody some youtubers or instagrammers thing a while a couple of years ago and it's basically where you sleep in your ch children's room now this particular family that I inspired me to do it they all sleep together in the lounge like in the front room under the Christmas tree and whilst that is lovely and idyllic in idea it would just be hell for me on earth because the two-year-old currently is still in a cot and he will not stay where you put him if he isn't restrained uh, he'd be all over the show I'd be worried all night long about what he's getting up to my five-year-old would be fine but would probably not go to sleep till about midnight and then we'd probably all have a really bad night's sleep and be grouchy so <clears throat> that's not happening <laughs> but um I will have a Christmas sleepover with my son. He's got a double bed and so we um, we have a hot chocolate, we have festive snacks, some popcorn, we watch a Christmas film in his bed on the iPad, um, we read some Christmas stories, um, you know, we do all of that sort of stuff. We, we lay and talk about what we're excited about for Christmas, what we're grateful for, what Christmas means to us and then we hopefully go to sleep. He goes to sleep about eight. I go get up again. He doesn't know this. Go downstairs, socialise with Graham and everything and then go back to bed in his and then he wakes up with me in the morning. So he loves that. It's one of his favourite things and he actually has to do a spooky one this year and I completely forgot. So now I feel really bad. But yes, Christmas sleepover. Um, festive, festive sheets and all those types of things, blankets and whatnot. Then we have visiting the garden centre. Now, there's one near us called Bent's, and it's expensive, but it's amazing. Um, it doesn't have to be Bent's. You can visit any garden centre you like, but we always go to Bent's um, because it's just beautiful. It just makes me feel all festive, and we tend to go after school, so it's dark. The lights are in incredible, um, and just it just gives me the Christmas feels. And every time you go in a garden centre there's at Christmas time, there's, there's usually um, those festive things in the front that sing in the entrance hall, and it just I just love it. So garden centre, um, and if there is one somewhere, a Christmas fair. Now, unfortunately, we are in a high risk area for COVID. 
So my son's Christmas fair and his Christmas nativity have been cancelled and they're going to film his nativity and I'm so, so mad about this. Not with anybody, but just in general about the fact that last year they did the same, this year they've done the same and next year he's probably going to be too old to be doing a nativity. I don't think they do it with year two because he's currently in year one. So I'm just really sad because I am such a sentimental person and I was so looking forward to seeing my babies in nativities and I've just not been able to. So fingers crossed he'll do it next year or at least I'll be able to live through my other two children for the nativity love but I'm just it's just really upset me anyway well I know there's worse things in the world but it just that was one thing that's stressed me out this this uh, Christmas time um I want to do something charity based um with my five-year-old and my two-year-old probably as well but he won't understand it quite so much um but something to do with charity with my five-year-old, I think it's really important for, for children as they grow up to understand that there's people out there that aren't as lucky as them. And so I'm going to figure out something to do here, whether it be donate toys, donate time, put together a pack um, of, you know, um, toiletries and give them to shelters and things. I'm not sure what it will be, but we will do some sort of act of, of kindness. So I'm going to just add that in as well acts of kindness or charity or both with with my five-year-old um i also do a christmas photo shoot and this is by no means professional um i do this at home on my own i get all the boys dressed up really similar in different similar colors and i take pictures of them and they get on with it <laughs> we have fun though i make them laugh there's lots of bribery going on but they like it because it's normally gingerbread treats or something like that and as the years have gone by, we've got more and more Christmas decorations. We've somehow this year acquired like a little sledge. Oh, I've just drawn on that. Like a little Christmas sleigh. Um, I just need to clean up because that's going to be a lovely little prop this year. We've got um, a moose, I think, but I call it a reindeer. Like a red rocking horse from Ikea, which just looks really nice in the photo shoots. And we've actually also got, which I'm going to put next, um, a snow machine. <laughs> we bought this last year on a whim um but it was like 100 pounds so it wasn't the worst you know investment ever um and it just they just love it so we're gonna have a snow machine party probably along the same time so we can use it as uh for the photos so christmas um photo shoot and snow machine party for sure then we go to a panto and this year it's goldilocks and the three bears so um my son I went to one last year um with my with my dad and um my stepmom if you like and he, he did like it he loved it and so I was like right okay if you're ready let's go let's do this because I if you don't know I'm a performing arts teacher and I love the theatre so um I will do that as much as he wants and we went to one on my birthday in October went to Jack and the Beanstalk and we've booked Goldilocks and the Three Bears for Christmas and Wizard of Oz is in February so I'll probably do that too but um Panto I'm really excited for when we went to see Jack and the Beanstalk it was only um Grayson who is five but at Christmas we're going to take Theo who is two and a half so fingers crossed for us that he's not going to go crazy so fingers crossed for us that he's not going to get bored and run up and down the aisles and drive me um potty so then we have treat tent now you'll have seen these floating around um social media you can rent tents overnight they're themed for certain things people sleep in them ours is not that it looks similar but we have our arm which is gray and it comes out for all different occasions um and in december it is a festive treat tent but they do not sleep in it because of aforementioned reasons why we don't sleep in the living room <laughs> maybe i'm a boring parent i don't know but um the elf will set this tent up um it has treats in it games in it puzzles things like that and through the day they can play in it play out of it play near it eat the treats um and when they go to bed it goes away um so that is what that is um, again I'll, add, I'll include as many pictures as i can because we did that last year and it was a big hit um, then we have write Christmas cards and again it's a really obvious one but sometimes it's not a pleasure to write Christmas cards sometimes it's a rush and you forget people and you know all of those things but I'm going to make it an event this year we'll have Christmas music on we'll set the table really nicely um, we'll write a list beforehand of who we would love to receive our cards what we might want to say 
Um, and because my son is five now and he can write and he will be sending Christmas cards to his class. Luckily, there's only 15 in his class and not 30 because otherwise I think I'd have to let him write it once and then photocopy and write a sticker, <laughs> make a sticker, um, which is what I did with his birthday invitations. Um, so that's a little hack for any of you who've got young children and don't love they don't love to write. Um, you could do that. But yeah, we're gonna, I'm going to do that. And I've, I've written a list in my Christmas planner and we're all going to write our Christmas cards together. Because I just think rather than it being a rush, it's just a really lovely way to practice writing and practice the art of giving, even though it's it's a card, not a present. Um, And then, yeah, his nativity. I was going to write on here, but I'm not going to write it now because I've cancelled it. Um, And I think that might be a lot of the stuff. I might think of some more, but... <clears throat> I think that's everything um oh wait hang on so so i'm also going to put here carol singing now we don't go carol singing um but there is a carol singing event in the park where you go you get a hot chocolate and you sing the christmas songs now i think my son might be a bit young for this because he doesn't know all the songs i mean <laughs> his christmas nativity songs are um go to sleep baby clip clop donkey and the <laughs> the stable hoedown he hasn't learned away in a manger and joy to the world and all of those ones that you'd expect them to learn <laughs> so he, he might not be ready i would love this i would love it but it's not anybody in my family's kind of seen i don't think but what we probably will do is have um i'll put here a christmas party and just in the house um where we all sing the songs and have fun and put songs on YouTube and, and have a little dance about and um, just have a little bit of fun like that. We, we will do that. Um, we also are going to be doing a North Pole breakfast and that's just in our house. Um, last year we had breakfast with Santa at a local pub um, <clears throat> but Santa was about 22 and about six foot five. Um, Luckily, they were young enough to be convinced, but every, like, I just I could not believe my eyes when he came out. Um, and so we're, doing, we're going to do a North Pole breakfast that the elf will bring that will all be set up when they come down the stairs. So that should be nice. And like I said, this will these activities will be going into those lists. Um, but I need to figure out now what day they'll be happening and how they coincide with what the elves are doing and all of those kind of things. <clears throat> I thought I'd forgot some. I have. So we also have um, Christmas sensory tray. So I put things like um, a shaker with sprinkles in, tinsel for them to feel. Um, uh, gosh, what else was on there? Some jingle bells. Um, some teddies that are like really nice and fluffy and nice to feel some pine cones that have got snow on a little bit of snow if it's age appropriate you know the um fluffy snow stuff that you can buy that's like fake snow um i'll probably do that again this year because it was a big hit last year i've just remembered that the um christmas party um, on one of the days last year we did like a tinsel party where we just all played in the tinsel made an absolutely massive mess so probably won't do that again this year but it was nice for like younger children as long as you're supervising them obviously um and also so we've got letter letter to santa obviously we'll be writing and posting that letter um which will be a really nice special little treat so we'll be doing that letter to santa and post we obviously also do no well not obviously not everybody does this but the christmas eve box um so this is kind of like christmas bucket list slash christmas traditions um but yeah i just love i love christmas it's such a lovely time of year so i do try to go all out um but yeah i think that's it whilst whilst i think about it and see if there's anything else that I can um, add in. I'm gonna. I'll have a little festive treat. These ones I've got here. I've got five pence. These chocolate coins, and a two pence, um, and two pence as my grandma would say. Um, are, are chocolate coins a thing all over the world? I feel like obviously they're a thing in England. If you are watching from a country that's not England, will you let me know if you have chocolate coins? Because I don't know. 
Is it a thing everywhere else? So I have a 2P and a 5P and it looks like the, the normal 2P and 5P apart from the fact that they're not gold. A 2P would be copper um, colour and a 5P is silver. But the, I like these ones. Norm, any, any chocolate is good. But I like it when the imprint of the um, coin... Oh, there goes the rubbish. These are really thick ones. I can't remember where I bought them from actually. Um, and I bought I bought them for my stock my son's stockings, but they've not made it, so I have to buy some more. Um, I like it when the imprint is on the chocolate. It's cute. Some of them, if you get like cheaper ones, they don't have this. It's just a ring of chocolate, which is absolutely fine because who actually looks? But I appreciate it when it's got the uh, both sides on. But yeah, I don't think I can think of anything else. Um, if I do. I, I might add it in at a later date and share with you if it's before I edit and upload the video. But if you have any Christmas bucket list tradition or activities, please let me know because I'm always looking for more to fill our December days with. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Look out for the one about the Christmas activities and the elves. Um, and hopefully we can help each other get through however many years of these elves coming with, that we have I'm trying to think of original ideas which just don't exist anymore for me anyway. Um, I'm a Pinterest happy person trying to find all these new things for the elves to do so hopefully I'll be able to give you some um, new elf activities too if you have the little elf in your shelf at your house. <laughs> so um, yeah have a really festive day everybody I'll see you for the next video. Bye!